Hey guys, Jeff here. Listen, we got a Chaparral we get to restore today. It was painted, it looks like dark blue and they painted the carpet black and everything. And I was looking at it just a bit ago and through the paint behind where the engine is, it looks like there's like a champion decal. So they painted right over the decal, you know, they painted right over. Uh, I turned it over and it's uh, missing a back screw post and it's tan, I found out it's tan. So um, we're gonna do our best to get back to original color. And just a second ago, I was looking for the easy off. I do have some easy off to get this paint off, but I've got just about a squirt left. I got very little left. And I know before I tried um, brake fluid. So I got the brake fluid out again. We're gonna give it another whirl. I wasn't really happy with the way the brake fluid took the paint off the uh, little piece of plastic I uh, had in one of my uh, earlier videos. But I kept hearing from you guys, you gotta, you gotta give another shot, you gotta give another shot. So today we'll be doing brake fluid. And uh, anticipating this car coming in, and I think it came from Honolulu. I think it came from, you know, uh, you know Hawaii. Uh, anticipating it come in, I started gathering some other parts. I got a, um, a chrome engine, um, I got a replacement roll bar, and I got the windshield. Uh, I got a head there, I know I was gonna need the head, that's one of my heads and I got a few screws and a guide pin. And uh, again, missing the back screw post, I went and got my screw post material that I've got there. I believe it's made by Evergreen. They make some of the best uh, products around for, you know, if you're doing uh, model motoring type of stuff, you know, they, they make some really good stuff. And I got a chassis, I touch it to the transformer. I don't think it's gonna need much other than oil. I'll take a better look at it. It did turn over, but it might need some oil. So while this is uh, soaking in the uh, brake fluid, we'll get after the uh, we'll get after the chassis. All right, guys, it should be fun. It should be a fun project. Okay, got the shaft rail on the bottom of the cup. I'm going to pour the brake fluid on it. I'm just going to cover it. I'm just going to cover it, and um, we're going to let it set for I don't know how long. I'm going to keep looking at it after a bit. That should be good. That, that's literally floating in there now. Okay, so uh, again, we'll just let it go. We'll see how it does. Check it after a few minutes. And uh, if it's making good progress, we'll just leave it in there until we get all paint off. Okay, while that body's soaking very quickly, uh, you guys uh, have asked me, I always give you his name on eBay. His name is Rather Boring. If you search Rather Boring on eBay, you're gonna find the gentleman uh, who started the model motoring stuff back in the uh, mid to late 90s, and they make a ton of reproduction uh, parts for our old uh, T-Jets and whatnot. Then he does some few other things there. I have always found very, very, very good quality with the stuff that, that they make. But if you want to find like a chrome kit for, uh, let's say the, uh, I don't care, a Mustang, a uh, Firebird or something, they're going to have it. Okay, they got the windshield. Do they have everything? Nope, nope. And, uh, and my attitude is, is if they don't have it, if rather boring doesn't have it, I'm going to make it. You know, I, I'm going to make it. So I always check there first because they've got some high, high quality stuff. And again, if um, he doesn't have it, I'm gonna make it. Okay, let's get into the chassis here. And the first thing I'm doing, there we go, is just go ahead and, uh, what I, I was looking at it earlier, it just looks like it's a little oxidized on the bottom. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's just go ahead and tear it apart. We'll just do a, a, a quick cleaning with it. I, the way it turned over, it sounded pretty good engine plate doesn't look bad doesn't look bad at all doesn't look bad let me go ahead and get the brushes out good and guys you know how i do the brushes just very quickly you know on one side flip it over to the other side you got a clean brush guys that's it you know, just the one side if there's any oil or the uh, residual carbon if there's anything on there it's going to come off okay looking good look at that man we got a good looking chassis all right get the magnets out I'm going to take the shoes off as well. I know I want to hit those with the wire brush. We'll just clean it up. Okay, that one magnet. Boy, that looks funky, doesn't it? We'll have to get another magnet for that bugger. And this mag or magnet. What did I say, magnet? I meant spring. I meant spring. Look at that spring right there. That's a little, that's a little uh, bent. We're going to have to get another spring there. So overall, it doesn't look too bad. It looks like the brush tension springs. They're in good shape. They're in good shape. So let me do this. I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, wire Dremel. We'll clean all that up real quick. 
I just grabbed the Dremel, but I tell you what, um, let's go ahead and take a look. It's been a while. And what do we got? The body's in there, and it looks like it's working, guys. Looks like it's working. So good. Um, do I think it's done? No. We're going to leave it in there for a bit longer, but it looks like it's um, flaking off. All right, very good. Let's go ahead and get back to the chassis. All right, fantastic. Let's go ahead and get the uh, Dremel, and what I'm going to do with it, I got the wire brush. I'm just going to make sure that everything's really clean, and I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, inside of there, the brush spring, uh, tension brush springy things. So let's just go ahead and get it cleaned up. I'm going to do the same thing with the shoes too, just to make it look a little bit better here. You know, when it oxidizes and it, um, what do they say, uh, oxidation, it, 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 you know, rust never sleeps. It doesn't stop. So go ahead and get it off, you know, and uh, make it look real good. And it's going to perform well for quite a while. Let me go ahead and get the inside here. So. I know it, it turned over okay, but still, it only takes a second to get all that stuff off. And boy, that, that came out good. That came out good. Let me go ahead and do the same thing with the um, uh, shoes. Overall, it doesn't look bad, but just getting all, again, all that oxidation off just a little bit, polishing them up, it's going to be much better, much better. And I know you guys probably heard me say this a number of times before, but I really like getting into this little groove and even behind it because that's what's touching the bottom plate of the chassis. Yeah, I do do the whole shoe, I do the whole shoe, but that, that little curved part, the part where it makes contact, yeah, I make sure and get that real good. I do, I make sure and get real good. And again, I do the whole shoe because again, uh, rust never sleeps, it really doesn't. Okay, good. Let me go ahead and um, uh, get the other shoe real quick, just a sec. Okay, good. I got done with the uh, shoes. I did the uh, engine clamp just for fun. Bottom of the chassis. Boy, it came out real good. I'm going to do the um, uh, wire brush to the uh, top of the engine and bottom of the uh, plate there. And I went ahead and got some um, uh, replacement springs. I figured if I was going to replace one, I'd, I'd just go ahead and replace both. So let me go ahead and do the engine plate and we will start reassembling here shortly. Just got the magnets in and put the tires on, got the shoes on. Um, getting ready to drop the uh, brushes in. And I, I've said this before, but I always oil as I go along. It seems like it's an easier way to oil the axles and you know every the crown gear, everywhere you need to get. So I've just been doing a little bit of oil in it. And again, I'm gonna drop the uh, brushes in and get the top plate on and get this bugger running again. Okay, good. Just got the engine clamp on. Let's go ahead and take it over to the uh, transformer and see what we get, guys. See what we get. See what we get. It is, um, it's been oiled up real good. Well, it helps if the uh, transformer is actually on, right? Too funny. Too funny. Oh, there we go. There we go. That sounds good. That sounds good. Fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, just for fun check the uh, paint removing. Yeah, boy, looking good. Looks like it's flaking off. Okay, uh, wow. Okay, just a little bit of agitation like that, and it's coming off. That's that's pretty cool. All right, what I'm thinking about doing is um, finishing it out of there and rinsing it in some warm water. Uh, I don't want to touch it, so let me go ahead and get my um, toothbrush. I'll fish it out of there, put on some paper towels. Okay, I'm just getting ready to rinse it off, and that's what it looks like. I got most of the paint off. And what's um, interesting, uh, and I'm noting now, is it's also getting the paint off the accents that Aurora had, uh, like the red carpet and things like that. Now, the easy off, a lot of times, it, it, it doesn't do that. <laughs> It'll take the paint off, but it seems to leave the Aurora accents on. So that, that's uh, one thing that I, I've noted already. So let me go ahead and do this. I'm gonna get it under some uh, hot water and uh, get it scrubbed up. Okay, just came back from this thing. I got it scrubbed up. <clears throat> Again, the uh, brake fluid's taken off everything. Now there's still some residuals on there. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the brake fluid for a little bit. That should get the last little bit off. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let that soak for a bit.